Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal, joined by my partner, Nikki Snacks. How you doing? And as always, we will be giving you our best bets for this week's NFL action. Week two. Week two. It happened fast. Yeah, it did. It happened fast. It's it, crazy. The season's almost over. I know. I don't, I don't even want to do the rest of the show because before you know it's going to be, we're going to be talking about the Super Bowl. Yeah, we're going to be doing our props and everything. Ah, Which, by sucks. the way, maybe next week we uh, do like our Super Bowl, like who we, who we take it. I know That's we, we normally like, Yeah, we, we like, we like we to uh, wait. We like to scour the board a little bit, see what teams are about, and then maybe we can do our prediction yeah. next week. Yeah, speaking of predictions, ours from last week were pretty good. Two and one. Two and one. Both that's hit our, our big locks. That's, both hit our big locks. That's what we call winning week. And if you bet our bets, that's four and two. So you won money. That's four and two. That's a good week. So and, don't ask for anything else. And if you parlayed all of our bets, if you did a six-leg parlay and you lost, that's on you because you did a six-leg parlay. No, don't do six-leg. I know this from, from experience. Don't do parlays. From harsh experience. Only you three legs at most. Max. <sighs> the animal. Okay. We, uh... Is there anything else we have to address? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, all the punishment comments were terrible. Can we like, can we get a little bit more creative? Maybe because we would like to have one before week three since we're tied. It's okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, we'll figure it out. Week one. We say that every goddamn year. Week one. Pick pick one. Like just bleep the week. No, no. Eh. Eh. All right, I got Saints at. The Panthers, minus three and a half. It's simple. Sam Darnold plays like a chicken. That's it. He plays like a chicken. He's a coward. Chicha, chicha, chicha. I got it. I got it. Yeah, 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 just keep being a chicken. You're good. So Sam Darnold plays like a chicken. And you know what the Panthers are going to do? They're going to they're gonna go in there. And they're going to take his little buns. They're going to take Sam Darnold's buns. And they're going to... Eat his bun, his chicken bun. How long has that been sitting there? Like two hours. You, I thought. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, I, I figured maybe like you got it. All right, you know, it's um, it's a little repulsive, but. What you think? No, it looks the good. The Panthers no. uh, barely beat the Jets, yeah. and cover that one for me. And the Jets are not legit, and the Saints are definitely legit. Also, Jameis Winston is pretty legit. He's famous. So I'm expecting the Saints to ravage the Panthers. I don't think my bun thing made any sense because I said chicken and I said buns. It sounded weird, like I'm eating his ass. Uh, it's you not do that I, professionally. It's not so. what I meant by that. But uh, it's simple. Saints minus three and a half. Lock it in. First pick. Let's go. Really nice. Yeah. I think you ate that and did that whole spiel because you were hungry. A couple bowl hits before we go start recording. I understand it. I get it. Don't worry about it. Trust me. You've got to explain it to them. You don't explain it to me. Just explain it to yourself when you look and feel like shit in the morning. Anyway, my first pick. Did you watch the Monday Night Football game between the Ravens and Raiders? Oh, yeah. 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 The Ravens look like shit. I'm sorry. The Raiders are not a very good football team, and the Ravens just... Couldn't blow them out. It makes no sense to me at all. So, in the back of my mind, when I see Chiefs versus Ravens, I'm going to bet the Chiefs. And the Chiefs have Patrick Mahomes, who is undefeated against the Ravens. They are on the road. I don't really give a shit about that. It's September. The crowd noise is down. There's no cold. It's fine. They play in Kansas City. It's cold anyway. It doesn't matter. There's no cold. There's heat. There's everything. Chiefs minus three and a half. The Ravens can't beat the Raiders. Lamar Jackson looks lost. The Ravens have two... I think it's actually now three linemen that are going to be out for this game. And they just lost another cornerback. They are banged up. They have no receivers. I don't see how they score with this Kansas City team. Andy Reid's a piece of shit. Uh, Eagle-loving douchebag. But that's okay. Because this week, he covers the spread. Good teams win. Great teams cover. The Chiefs are a great team. They have Patrick Mahomes. Very good quarterback. Chiefs, minus three and a half. Pick one. Yeah, I agree. I think the Ravens are already done. I agree. I think they're they're already out. And of I, I also want to note that we have for three years now said that Lamar Jackson is not really a quarterback. He's a running back, and 
That's exactly what he is. We just had to throw it in there. It's a little. Yeah, I did. It's a little. Yeah. That's what we call a jab. That's uppercut. Well, this I was is a jab. No, I, uh, this is straight. No, this is an uppercut. I was going like this, like a little. Is it? Is this a straight or jab? I guess a jab and a straight a are very boom, close. Boom, oh boom, yeah, that's boom, 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 boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. Pick number two coming at you like a jab. <laughs> like a jab. That's pretty good. You're lucky I like don't. I barely touch you. I have an iron chin. I'm an animal. I literally barely touch you. Rams at Colts minus three and a half. I mean, what did I have here? Oh, we wait, Wednesday out of we. Oh, we don't care about the hook, right? That's no, I, said I, I clearly don't. We don't care about the hook. Here's the deal. I can't read my f-ing handwriting. This happens every year. He's got fat hands. I fat got fingers. a hook for you. Seahawks did it, and the Rams are going to do it too because they're in the same division. All those teams are going to be like copying each other all year, back and forth, winning games. Also, Matt Stafford got look f-ing great. He did. He's gonna, you know, what he's gonna do. He's gonna get get to the field, he's gonna put his safety glasses on or his helmet, whatever you want to call it, and he's gonna ski ski all over the place, <laughs> all over the field. When I say shoot ski, I mean like stay stay pole. Oh! <laughs> Matt Stafford's going to be doing that all over the field. Robert Woods, Van Jefferson, Cooper Cup. Pew, 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 pew. Skeet, skeet, skeet. So uh, Rams minus three and a half against the Colts. Colts also um, got, got clapped by the Seahawks, if I didn't say that already. No, I don't think you did, but I think it's it, a good pick. I think I did. It's good. Oh, maybe you did. I, did. I, I really don't listen, but... um. I don't even know what the f- I'm about to say. I barely know what I, I do in my life. Wake up and, you know, take a piss and think about how bad the Giants are going to lose tonight. Anyway, so my second pick, uh, you're on record. You did very well. And if you don't know, Animal goes live at 10 a.m. Eastern time, live on the Underdog channel and gives you all your start sits, your best bets, whatever you want. Well, call, you call in, call in, plug that in. And he was very sharp and said the Texans were going to win as an outright dog last week against the Jaguars. And they beat the, they beat the ever-living piss out of the Jaguars. Yeah, they, they pissed on them. The Jaguars are not a very impressive team. The Texans suck. Uh, I don't want to say that on camera. They suck. So that's what I said. So what I'm going to do is Cleveland coming off a loss. I hate doing this. Cleveland's coming off a loss that they should have won. They are pissed. They are angry. They have the better team. It's their home opener. The Texans are traveling. They're not good. I am laying the 12 and a half of Cleveland. Cleveland minus 12 against the Texans. I think it, it, my only fear, and I was telling you this before, my only fear is a backdoor cover. I, I think the, the, the Browns absolutely beat the ever-living piss out of this Houston Texan team. The Houston Texans suck, suck, suck. Tyrod Taylor is not Patrick Mahomes, so the Browns are not going to allow Tyrod Taylor to, to do what Patrick Mahomes just did to them and run around going crazy and throwing it to Tyreek Hill. Who's he going to throw it to? Brandon Cooks, he's got half a f-ing brain. He's mush brain. He's like me. That's how bad he is. Anyway, Cleveland, minus 12 and a half. I'm very confident in this one. My uh, two-star, 50 million, play of the month, play of the century, play of the millennium. Browns, minus 12 and a half. It's literally not because I have my big last. I could, coming. I could see it. I like it. I, I'm not against it. Also, I'm worried about the back door. Always, I am. dude. I am worried about you the back always door. Always have to be worried about your back door. Always ha- listen. <laughs> you know how much evisceration this you back door has taken in the last few years. Constantly worried about yeah. your back door. Yeah. It's f-ing rough yeah. out here. All right. Browns minus twelve and a half. I think it's time now. We're gonna go to the uh, underdog play of the day. Ike, take us to the other studio. Oh, welcome to the Underdog Play of the Day, brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Uh, you can sign up at underdogfantasy.com or download the app in the App Store. Underdog Fantasy, promo code BDG. I don't think you get anything right now. Um, but you get these sick picks. Why are you out of breath? All right, go ahead. Go ahead. It's Sorry. always it's Sorry. a problem. All right, so I'm going to be taking the... Over under, we're going with the pickums. Uh, I'm all, over, all yeah. over the place today. I'm going with the pickums. We're taking Matthew Stafford, twenty point two five fantasy points. We are taking the over because Matt Stafford's going to throw at least three touchdowns. You want to read yours? I agree. I agree. No, I know it. 
So what I'm going to do against this stupid, miserable, disgusting, gross, asshole Cowboys, Justin Herbert is going to go over his fantasy points on underdog at 22.025. He's... What do you mean no? 22.05. So I was going to give you the phone and you read it. I thought it was 025. No, it's, that's so many numbers. Just 05. 22.05. 05. Yeah. Justin Herbert is going against the disgusting, no, grotesque, gross, ass fing loving, miserable fans of the Dallas Cowboys, and he's going to shred them over 22.05. Zero five, on the fantasy points for Justin Herbert. Lock it the f in. Can combine these for a payout multiplier of three x. So if you bet ten dollars, you will win thirty, and and then you'll be down ten already if you bet last <laughs> week's because we both lost those last week. Bing. So that's the underdog play of the day. Back to you, Animal and Snacks. All right, awesome. Thank you, uh, Underdog. That's a nice play from us, by the way. We uh, yeah. I mean, hey, didn't didn't do well last week. Actually, we went on two. Yeah, it's fine. So it's fine. Listen, you can't win them all. No. And uh, sometimes, oh, you hear that sound? No. There it is again. Yeah, I don't get it. See, now, I think that means it's time. For wait, wait, the... wait a minute! I hear it. Bitch, I hear it. Just be on cue. Well, no, here it's coming from that cue. way. Yeah, yeah. It's time for the uh, for the big block. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, be careful. The table's gonna fall over. So we'll have to cancel oh, the whole show. Two and on big locks. Cancel the whole show. Two and on big locks. Two and zero on the big locks. That's right. And you know what? Can we make it four and zero? Doubtful. Yeah, my big locks have a very bad history, but you know who has a history of being pretty good? This guy, his name is Aaron Rodgers, and this is why I'm going to take the Lions at the Packers, and I'm taking the over 48 and a half. Tricked oh, you. Tricked you. you so tricked I was going to take the Lions. You tricked me. Yeah, no, no, I'm taking the over 48 and a half. Look, Aaron Rodgers had an abysmal, awful, awful week last week, and that is not unlike, that is not like Aaron Rodgers. That's very unlike him. And this is a division game. The Lions put up 33 points against the 49ers. Nah. Well, the Niners have a, a pretty good defense. Yeah, they score like two touchdowns on, uh, on like 80 yard. It counts. Game. It counts. I agree. It counts. I also, agree. here's the deal: the I Niners agree. put up 41 points on the Lions. That's what you should start with. So here's where I'm going with this: Aaron Rodgers should have 40 at least. Minimum. Right? Being pissed off. He's going to. Your bet. I'm this sorry. This is like yo. This is like a revenge game against himself for last week for having a terrible, terrible performance. He's going to come out and throw five touchdowns. If he doesn't, he should just retire. So that's why I'm saying this now. 48 and a half is the big lock. It is my biggest lock I will probably have all year long. Is this uh, the Monday night game? Yes, it is. And it's on Monday night football. Aaron Rodgers on Monday night football. I don't know the stats, but I'm sure they're good. I'm sure they're good. And Jared Goff probably. And Aaron Rodgers is going to do this by himself. 48 and a half over. Lock it in. Um, you can parlay these. I don't know the odds. I gotta tell you, that is one of the best analysis of a big lock I've ever heard in my life. Conviction, dude. Conviction. I understand. And see, hear me. What did I say? What did I say to you before? I said, I'm gonna be a square, but I looked at this line, I looked at this number three days, and I don't understand it at all. It's simple. Dallas just put up 28 points against a oh, yeah. very good defense I like this. on Thursday night football. I like this. The Chargers just put up how many points against a very good defense on the road in Washington? Take it easy on the big lock. I'm going over 55 and a half Dallas, Los Angeles Chargers. First of all, the, the Cowboys are an atrocity on defense. They are disgusting. They make okay. me sick, just like their fans and that stupid f***ing city that they play in. Their stupid owner with their stupid star, America's team. They haven't won a Super Bowl in 25 years. You're calling America a loser if you call them America's team. Anyway, 55 and a half. This game, I think this game goes over 70. I was going to say, is, yeah. This is going to be a shoot. This line should be 59 and a half. Literally should be. This should be a college. This should be like a, a, a what do they call it? Um, 
Maction, the the, the Mac oh, champion, yeah. the, when the, the the lines are like eighty and a half yeah, on the yeah. over under. These two teams are going to be a shootout. The the Chargers defense is it's fine, but the Cowboys non bias is a very good offense. Dak is back. He's got ten days off. The whole offense is ready to go. The Chargers, Justin Herbert at home, home opener, fans in the stadium for the first time. He's going to be lighting it up. Fifty five and a half seem, to me <clears throat> seems like a steal. Okay, you could. I don't even know. I don't even want to do the math. I don't want to predict the score. Mike Williams, fifty. Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, Mike. Keenan Mike Allen might Williams. catch twenty balls on Sunday. Today, he literally might catch twenty balls. Fifty-five and a half. We're going over, and I love this pick. This might be the lock of the millennium, lock of the century, lock of the decade. So we got two overs for the big locks this two week. Two overs. Interesting. Cheers. I will. I would have done three overs this week. There's like so many games I love the overs on. We honestly, but this, I had to do some spread because I have to bagel, show that I ba- am a sharp. Bagels and locks might turn into with the way the offense is going. Bagels nowadays, and overs. It's bagels and overs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it so, could be. But that is, uh, yeah, that's it. Over fifty five and a half. I don't trust either defense. I love both offenses. Bagels over bagels. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Uh, Something like that. Uh, Got to get it out. All right, that was good. Yeah, it's good. All right, yeah, sure, uh, sure. Uh, that's the show. Uh, please comment your big locks and uh, and please get. I- I'm serious. I'm serious. Yeah, he please. Wants this. I really, I really, I want them to do it because we're two and one right now. We should do it right now before it's, you know, you're up five or I'm up five, whatever the case. Give us a good punishment. No, we're not gonna wear each other's favorite team's jersey. No, nothing like that. Something we could do on camera that's funny and realistic. So please help us out if you don't mind. If you don't mind. You could also make fun of me. I got red hair. I'm skinny little bitch. Whatever you want to do. I don't give a shit. But just give us a little help, okay? Thank you. Uh, yeah, that's the show. Uh, bagels and Locks. Yeah.